All right, our next section here, and we're nearing the bottom here, is our site pages. Now the site pages section actually has quite a bit to it, so this video will be several minutes as we look at all the features on how you can create new pages. Now by default, your show is set up with these four pages which you cannot delete. So you have your home, location, and then a contact page, which is simply a form to where your users can fill out this and hit submit, and they can submit a, a question or an inquiry to that uh, to you or your particular call. So these four pages are set up for you by default, but you can also add as many extra pages as you'd like. So I'll head back into the dashboard and come back into the site pages, and I'll show you how you can set up a new site or edit an existing site. For example, my home page here on the site has set up with this content, but if you want to edit that, you can simply just select edit on the home page, and uh, here is, is a simple editor, it's a WYSIWYG editor, or if you're familiar with HTML code, you can select the source over here and also edit the actual HTML of your particular page. Turn that off and then you can go ahead and use all of these visual tools as well. So I'm going to come back here to the pages and uh, we'll create a new page and walk through each one of these settings as there are quite a few in there. So I'll select add a new page and let's say I want another tab up here on my main menu that's for submission instructions. So I'll set up a submission instructions page and I can come down in here and say this is the submission instructions page and again I can use this wiggy wig, wizzy wig to highlight this and I can bold this content I can create lists of items as well so I can highlight these items and I can create a bulleted list whoops a bulleted list out of those or a numbered list I can unbold those anyway you can go ahead and play with all these different settings create links you can embed YouTube videos if you have instructions that way you can set up different heading tags so if I want this to be a heading one anyway all of these are simply WYSIWYG tools now this menu order is the order in which this item is going to appear at the menu so zero over here means the left side and this would be zero one two and so if I set this thing to be let's say four, that's going to appear after the contact item up here. It'll only appear if I select the published um, button here. So I'm going to select publish and it says what's the parent menu page. The parent is the main menu which it means it's going to be along here at the top. I'll look at what this means in just a second. This will allow us to actually create a sub page or a drop down menu. So I'll leave this as the main page and I'll go ahead and say add page. Now you'll see as soon as I added that I have a new page up here which is called submission instructions and this is for everyone on your site would see this so your users would also see this and you can have all that content that you add right there for that particular page. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to add one more page. So I'll add a new page and I'll just call this a sub menu just to demo demonstrate how we do the sub menus. I'll call this a sub menu page. Let's go ahead and publish it. Menu order I'll just leave um, it blank because it's going to actually be underneath this one in a second or a zero. And then for the parent menu page, I'm going to set that up as the submission instructions page. So I'll select submission instructions and select add page. And now you can see there's a little drop down arrow here. So if I select this drop down, there's my sub page right here. So this takes me to the sub page. One important thing to note is I can no longer get to the submissions page if it has a sub menu page. So if you want to do create if you want to create a drop down menu with many options, you'll actually create an empty page. So my submissions page would actually have no content on it. I would just create an empty blank page and then say update and that would be used. I guess it's not going to let me do nothing here. I can just say empty. And then this page would actually be used as the kind of the header up here. So you can create those pages that are drop downs by simply, and you can see here it says parent, the submissions page, um, setting this parent menu page drop down. So I'm going to set this back to the main menu, hit update, and now you can see that that sub menu, because I set it at menu order zero, it's clear over here at the very front. If I take that sub menu page, change that menu order to one, and hit update, you can see now it moves over to slot one. And any of the pages you can create, you can uh, unpublish or you can just delete them if you're no longer going to be using them in your call. So I'm just going to delete that submenu page and uh, it'll be 
destroyed on the next refresh here. So that's how you can create uh, pages up here inside of your menu item. Now, this submenu page is actually appearing here because this menu is cached, but it would go away in just a second. Now, the last thing I want to look at is this sidebar section here of the pages. So let's head back into the admin section and we'll head over here to the pages section again. So down here is the sidebar. So if I say select edit sidebar, kind of the same idea, but I can put in all the content either in source mode or in the WYSIWYG view and just simply edit any content that would appear in the sidebar of my page. So as soon as I say edit sidebar contents, you can see this is the, the sidebar details here. And they of course would be shown to all of your users and on your sidebar of your site right here. So that's how you can set up pages and uh, you can add as many pages as you want. You can add submenus, you can change the sidebar. And the last little piece here I'll demo is how to add imagery to your pages. So underneath the site pages drop down, you'll see there's a page uploads section. So if I have a specific page that requires an image, I can select this page uploads and say add a new upload. And I'll give this upload a name. I'll just maybe call it my logo. Now I'm just going to browse to the upload section here to upload a logo. And I've just got a simple logo here on my desktop. It's of the Firefox browser logo. And I'll go ahead and select choose and say add file. Now this is going to upload this photo. And then I'll then be able to use it in my page. So you can see here's this upload. I can delete it here. Now this file path is the important part. So I'm going to copy this file path. And let's say I want to use this logo on my home page. Well, I would copy that path, come back over here to my site pages, and I'll come over to my home page and select the edit button again. And you can see up here, there's a little image tag. So let's say I want to place this logo right here. I'll place my cursor there, select add the image. And then where it says URL, I would just simply paste that URL and it's going to add that image in. I'll select okay. And then it's actually a really large image, but then it goes ahead and adds the image in. And I can say update page. And then I'll come over here to my home page again. And there's that new logo. So that's how you can add any images to any particular page, or you can add maybe your logo to your sidebar for your particular uh, call. So that's how you can create pages and how you can add images and sub pages and edit the sidebar of your call.